It is time for Sunrise with Jesus. Be sure to follow this podcast on iTunes, Google Play Music, Facebook, and YouTube. And now, be blessed by today's ride. Good morning and welcome to Sunrise with Jesus. Today is Thursday, January the 4th, and it is a lovely thing just to be alive, lovely thing to just be here sharing with you one more time it's a privilege i feel so connected already it's just been it's been four days so far and i feel already connected to you guys so (laughs) so this is my this is my special special guest today as you can see this is (laughs) this is my sister this is my lovely little sister isabel chen hi my favorite and only little sister and she's going to be sharing about a sunrise that she wrote this morning you can find the sunrise at www.sunrisewithjesus.com it's called no sin no problem right so in the sunrise she explained just a situation that she really saw god in Mm -hmm. she really saw a principle of god just in a regular conversation with a friend and she just goes on to show how even in these little uh live situations we can see the the bigger things that God wants to show us. So Isabel, yeah. hi, welcome hi. to Sunrise. Thank you. Uh, please explain uh, what was on your heart that inspired you to write the Sunrise. Okay. Uh, well, there's a there's a like like there's a sin issue that always will come up, and it mm. shouldn't okay. because I know it shouldn't because. Okay. Of the word that I've been hearing, you know, how we are new, how we are complete, mm-hmm. how we are, how we are just holy, how right. God's workmanship has created us holy, and um, I was bothered by by you know always looking at sin, like having to repent, and mm. I was like, Lord, why? Wow. <laughs> you know, and and now I realize by this conversation um, that sin is is just not an issue to a to a son of God who loves God who mm-hmm. just wants God so the, the situation was that I was going to lunch with my friend and mm-hmm. my Anesta okay. we, were, we were at school and we went to Island Grill right and she was on a no meat fast okay <laughs> so so she ordered some fish something and I ordered meat like yeah. good good meat, meat. <laughs> right I, I totally forgot that she was on this fast and as we sat down to eat um I remember that and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Anastasia, mm. for eating meat in front of you. This can be a, a, such a big temptation. <laughs> I know you're on a fast. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. And she just blew it off. Like, what? <laughs> you know, she, she her response to me was that this is not for me. And, and I just know it. And it's fine. Wow. You can eat it. But I, I know that's not for me. And she didn't know it, but that spoke volumes to me. Wow. And it's, it spoke such a great principle to my heart that I know that this is the heart and mind of Jesus Christ. Like in 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 situations, in temptations, in what can be temptation, mm-hmm. you know, um, God wants us to know that, you know, it's, it's it doesn't have to be an issue. It doesn't right. have to be such a oh my gosh, sin is right there and I'm holy uh-huh. and what should I do? Yeah, it shouldn't be like that. It should be okay. That's not for me. I'm not of this world. That's not that's not a part of my nature. That's wow. not. I, I'm not attached to that. I don't right. even find pleasure in that. I don't. I don't even know what sin is. <laughs> like what's what that? that? <laughs> you know. So that that changed my life, wow. and I know that. Like, it, like it, it comes up a lot in my mind. Like mm-hmm. the situation replays in my mind, and I know, okay, that's God. That's God. Oh wow! <laughs> and Esther, you are a blessing to this child. She doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. Okay, well, now you know. And it reminds me of of Jesus in the wilderness. Yes. The devil literally offered Jesus the entire world, and because there was nothing in him that wanted anything, he didn't. He knew his purpose here. He knew that he was just here as a literal pilgrim you know he 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 had no attachment to this world he even said he didn't even have a place to lay his head and he knew that even if he was offered everything that it wouldn't be a temptation to him he didn't even have to think about it you know temptations can come and offenses will come but it's up to us it's always our choice whether we're going to allow that to be a temptation to us if we're going to be tempted by these things and and like anessa said it's not for me and just just being settled in the fact that i know sin is an offense to god and i know 
God hates these things. Can you imagine God telling you he hates something? Mm -hmm. I think if, if there was somebody that I love, you, let's say. <laughs> if I knew that you hated something, if you hated when I came for you late or whatever, if I knew that I would, I would make an effort, you know, and I would have a resolve that, you know, Isabel has a really important thing to do tonight. And, and she really depended on me to, to get this thing done. And I'm going to make an effort. I'm going to say, okay, you know what? Whatever happens, I'm not going to be late. Mm -hmm. And that's just also my love for her. And this, even more with God. God has saved our souls. God has given us everything that we ever needed. God has, has restored us and given us a brand new life. And all he asks us to do is to be, be holy, to be, to be pure, to be vessels that he can use. And as a result, just not sin, you know, yeah. and that, that's just his requirement. Yeah. And it's, it's not even like punishment. It was. Like, <laughs> like we, we, sometimes we may think, why is God restricting me from things that, you know, people in the world enjoy? Mm -hmm. But I've come to realize that it's not even that. Like God, God wants us to just love Him, yeah. and He made it so easy for us to love Him. And because we love Him now, because we enjoy Him so much, mm -hmm. because because He is our life and He makes us excited, yeah. He makes us fulfilled. You know, He fills our cup, and yeah. there's nothing else in this world that we we know that can do that. Yeah. You know, that's that's the only reason we obey Him. Yeah. That's the only reason we should obey. Him. Without that is misery. Without that is a longing for things in this world and you say oh I just have to obey God I know I want that in the world but I just have to oh, obey wow. God yeah. but that's not it you know that it's that's that's turmoil that's anguish but when your heart and your mind is affixed on God when when all you want is him you know that's yeah. that's no issue no problem no problem <laughs> <laughs> and and it goes back as you said just to our relationship with him if we have a real relationship with God if we talking to God all the time and if we're doing things for him, if our life is about him, then what is sin? You know, why would we even consider doing something that's against his will? And I'm, I'm really glad you shared this. Go ahead again, read, read the sunrise. There's a lot detailed in this and I know you'll enjoy it. So we're going to take a little twist and we're going to entertain a question from the audience. Our question today, I want to point this to Isabel because Isabel is currently a student in university. And the question is from a student in the university. And the question is as follows. Let me read it. So it says, Hey Sunrise fam, I'm a freshman going on to my second year in university. I came out of high school loving Jesus and ready to turn my new campus to Jesus. However, it feels like the campus has turned me. I feel like I fail God and want to get back to him, but I'm so ashamed to go to him and the thought of going back to school as the Christian when all of my friends knew I didn't live up to that before, this is really bothering me. And on top of it all, how do I know I won't fall again? Mm. Help. Well, you gotta help them. Yeah, that sounds like something I've been through. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember going to high school and I made a decision in camp the summer before I mm. went off to school. And I made that decision, I knew it was real, mm -hmm. but still there was the reality of school. There was the reality of friends that knew, knew what I had done in the past, they knew what I was caught up in, they knew the stuff that I used to talk to them about and stuff. And I would come to them now with a brand new me, brand new way of living, and, and that, that, was a, that was something I had to take into consideration and really sit back and say, okay, God, you have to be the one to handle this. Yeah. Because, um, because God knows. Yeah. God knew that, that, that this would happen. God knew that th these friends would, would come to see you now, but all they're, all they're going to see now that you have changed, all they're going to see is that testimony of God's goodness. Exactly. You don't have to worry about, you know, whether they would um, treat you a certain way or call you a hypocrite. Because once you know, once you have a confidence that I have really changed yeah. and I, ha I, I know the God that I serve now and yes, I, I have done some things, but I'm forgiven of that. Mm -hmm. I'm forgiven of all those things that I've done, all those, the names that I used to, the, I used to gossip, I used to, you know, backbite, I used to go to parties, whatever you used to do, but I can stop. 
-hmm. And once I know that I have stopped in my heart, once I know yeah. that I, I've changed, I've, I've, I've come to a place where I'm no longer bound to this sin. Mm -hmm. You know, people are going to try to bind you to that sin. People are going to try to, to say, oh, look at the, the party go, Isabel. But mm -hmm. no, this, this, this is something that um, you have to accept. And once you've accepted it, then you can't tell people how to treat you, but you can only live your life unto God, Amen. unto the Lord. And, and don't, don't live your life to, to please men and, and to please people who look on and to try to be in a different crowd and try to make people like you or you know trying to make to make people feel accepted around you but some people are going to leave some some friends are going to say i can't i can't deal with this yeah. you know but but god wants you to know that he's got you and once you live unto him it's good wow that's 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 real and even in the in the last part of the question how do i know i won't fall again the scripture says who the son has set free is free indeed and sin is not something that we should fear because the reality sin is always a choice we always have to either choose to obey god or not yes. if, if you have the holy spirit i should say if 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 that if you have ever gotten saved and if you have god living on the inside of you if you have ever accepted jesus into your heart mm -hmm. no matter how you want to word it <laughs> i don't know people have different ways of wording it but once you have god living on the inside of you that is power. He's not in there just taking a vacation and chilling. Mm -hmm. He's in there living through living, you yeah. if you would only let him. So all you have to worry about is allowing God to live through you. And you just have to know that you are more powerful than sin. You are an overcomer. You have, you have been set free by the blood of the Lamb. And you now have a testimony yeah. that God is good in your life. So this, this, is, this is just fuel for your ministry, fuel for your life. Feel for your own conviction as you go on in life. So be encouraged. It, it's it's going to be okay. Yeah. You know, school and friends, you're in that environment to, to be a testimony to others. So what if it started out bad? So what if you made a mistake? This is it's, it's always your choice. What are you going to do now? Right. You know, we had a sunrise in the past. So what are you doing with your time? Yeah. And the question today is, what are you doing now? It's right. what's going on now that matters. So I just want to encourage you, just, just keep on living for God. Don't be bound. Don't bind yourself to your own mistakes. Don't bind yourself to, to how people treat you, how people think about you, to your past. Nothing. God has set us free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to our close, but I want to give a special shout out today to Winston Guy. All right, Winston, um, we had a sunrise yesterday. And we're helping a young lady named Jenny who had a, a situation concerning religion and her convictions and truth. And Winston wrote a beautiful just response just in helping her. Um, if you want, you can go back and look at yesterday's sunrise and, and come and, you know, join the conversation. But we wanted to shout out to Winston. Uh, thank you for the comments. We really appreciate your participation. And even for today's sunrise, we're going to post this question. To anyone that, that has gone through something similar, anyone that, that feels like they have something to share, something to offer, you know, we, we really appreciate your input. Let's make it a conversation. Let's talk about it and let, let's help each other. We're one body. We're made for each other. No man stands alone. So that's, that's what we're going to do. So check us out on, on our Facebook channels. That's where you find us. Uh, on YouTube. Check us out on sunrisewithjesus.com. Um, and we're going to be here pretty much every day, except on the weekends, I think. <laughs> So, <laughs> so that's going to be it for today. Um, I hope you join us tomorrow. Today's Sunrise is sponsored by Bible Talk with Mary. This is an awesome Facebook Live show in the middle of the day at lunchtime, 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. Tuesdays I want to, and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays, two days. Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I just want to encourage you to watch this show. If you're taking your lunchtime break, if you if you have any free time at 12:30, join in. It's very interactive. It's very current. You'd be surprised the things that we talk about on this show. And just just join in. Um, join in on Mary Banks Facebook page. It's facebook.com/slash I am Mary Banks, or just search for Mary Banks, and you should be able to find it. So that's gonna be it for today. Um, hopefully, we'll have Isabel here tomorrow talking about another sunrise. But that's going to be it for today. I want you to have a wonderful day in the Lord. Keep your mind stayed on Him. Think on those things that are holy, good, pure, of a good report. Think about God. Talk to Him all the time about everything, no matter how simple or silly it seems. He loves to hear from you. 
So, this is Daniel and this is Isabel. And I want to say see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's sunrise, continue to rise with us by following our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Sunrise with Jesus. And lastly, visit our website, www.sunrisewithjesus.com. Sunrise with Jesus, as faithful as the sun.